Okay, so about four months ago, I jumped back into a huge part of my childhood. Ben 10 was a childhood hero to me. Watching him transform into various aliens kicking Vilgax's thick thighs, it was pretty hot. But Ben Tennyson wasn't my only childhood hero that stood up to evil. Lego Ninjago was a cartoon masterpiece. The character development throughout each season was golden. Watching the four original ninja fight over who would be the green ninja was a heart-tugging fight because I loved them all. I, was, I felt like I was close to every single one of them. So I got to thinking, who'd beat who in a fight? The Green Ninja or Ben 10? My two cartoon heroes facing off. Well, I've come to the conclusion that Ben sucks schlong. Now, I know what you're thinking. But, but Tyler, Ben turns into a ton of different aliens. He, 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 he has a better strategy for counter, countering them. But Tyler, you're, you're an idiot. Okay, okay. Well, well, listen here, all right? Let me tell you something. That means nothing when comparing power rankings. I officially hate Ben 10 because he's a whiny, incest little crap. All right. Strap in, boys. We're going on a ride with 10 reasons the Green Ninja would destroy Ben 10. The first Finjutsu Master dominated the competition and basically created Ninjago with his bare hands. Now that Lloyd kind of, you know, has his power, nothing can stop him. Frick, he can move mountains with his mind. And if he has the power of the first Finjutsu Master, I'm just saying, that's kind of like, you know, having the power to, you know, kind of rape. Several times in the first Ben 10 series, we see Ben get screwed over again and again. Whether he's trying to transform into forearms but gets accelerate, or he just keeps getting let down by his childish attempt at using his powers, Ben is bound to get straight doggy styled by the Omnitrix if Lloyd doesn't do it first. Ben literally uses his powers for his nerdy mischief. Yeah, Lloyd technically should be a kid, but in episode 18, in order to defeat the Grundle, the ninja reversed the Mega Weapon's young effect to turn the ninja old again, and in the process, Lloyd is old now too. While he still may have the mindset of a young child, he still starts developing the physical aspects of an adult, so he would still kind of destroy him in a physical fight. Honestly, I think the hottest people in the world have bowl cuts. Lloyd, when he was young, has this amazing bowl cut. And my gosh, I would just take him and- <laughs> Lloyd literally took down the Overlord. The Overlord was like the Satan of Ninjago. So basically, Lloyd is Jesus. Every time we constantly see Ben working with his family to save the day. And yes, you could say the same about Lloyd and the other ninja, but it's different. Lloyd doesn't rely on the other ninja because he was selected over the others to wield the power of the first Finjutsu Master. Lloyd is the only one who, like, you know, was destined to defeat the Overlord. The others weren't. It was only Lloyd who could do it. Okay, yeah, he did fail in the end to control the Serpentine, but, like, he had him for a while. Like, come on. They literally made him a treehouse full of booby traps. I mean, let's be real. Lloyd wasn't chosen to be the Green Ninja, it was prophesized. It was him the whole time because it was known he was worthy to be the Green Ninja. Ben found the Omnitrix by accident. Gwen could have gotten the Omnitrix if she was in the right place at the right time. So Ben actually being a hero was completely by accident, while Lloyd was destined since the beginning of time to be the Green Ninja. Spinjitsu wins every time, and let's be real, just look at the two. Who's gonna win? It's obvious. Come on. Nerdy little Ben who's freaking like a weeb or like the super cool almighty green ninja who basically saved Ninjago countless times. Come on, it's obvious. Well, there you have it, guys. My proven facts of why the green ninja would dominate Ben 10 in combat. Yes, I loved both as a kid, but starting today, I officially hate Ben. He's weak and overall garbage. No character development at all. Lloyd is the superior hero. Frick, Nia could even take Ben's weak aliens on. Not only is this proven Lloyd would win, but Lego Ninjago is also the superior show. At least we're still technically on the same series while you're on the fifth reboot. And don't even give me the crap of you grew up on Ben 10 so it means more to you. Okay, listen here, buddy. I grew up on both and was able to come to a conclusion. They were literally on relatively at the same time, so you don't have any excuses. Lloyd would literally clap Ben's alien cheeks. Let me, l come on. Nah, but anyways, guys, if you liked the video, which you should have, leave a thumbs up. I really enjoyed voicing my opinion, and let me tell you, I'm right. If you haven't subbed with notifs on, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to be uploading a lot more because of some things in my life that have been going on. But yeah, don't miss a vid. Turn on notifications. I'm really happy my fan base is as large as it is. I'll catch you in the next one. Love y'all. Peace.